The clouds have opened up and the sun is shining. We've got a beautiful day here in Solaris City. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A great day for the kickoff of the Solaris game. I'm joined by Lars Olofsson and the SBC crew. We're about to open this season of Ultimate Battle Mech Combat. This season starts with the Solaris Oversight Committee, dividing every known mech variant into seven divisions. Each division is based on a number of properties, ranging from loadouts and profiles to flat-out battlefield viability. Mech Warriors have the ability to fight solo or to group with another Mech Warrior to fight in a 2v2 scenario. Mech Warrior stats are tracked separately by solo and group matches. Matchmaking is done based on the highest Mech Warriors ranking in group matches and special calculations are performed on the lower ranking Mech Warriors. No hand-holding allowed here, folks. Battle mech combat is serious business. Along with the serious combat experience comes serious expenses. This is where patrons come into play. Patrons take on contracts with all mech warriors participating in the Solaris games. Different patrons provide different payment structures, which grow over the course of a season. Patrons aren't the only ones providing a source of income during the game. Mech Warriors also have the ability to gain sponsors throughout their seasonal run. Unlike contracted patrons, sponsors can be gained and lost, and their loyalty completely depends on a Mech Warrior's skill on the battlefield. One unusual aspect of a Solaris tuned battle mech is its outward appearance. Solaris is the home to mechs that have unique bolt on cosmetic equipment. It's not unusual to see a giant set of horns or spikes on a Solaris mech. Patrons and generosity for manufacturers are the main means of gaining these bolt-on cosmetics. Who knows what will be in that crate that just landed in your mech pit. Every mech warrior has the choice to participate in whichever division they want to, as each division has its own leaderboard. The leaderboards are broken down into single and group combatants. At the end of a season, the leaderboards are reset. A Solaris game season lasts for three months. At the end of a season, the best performing mech warriors are rewarded, and all stats are backed up in the Solaris archive. There goes the side torso. Kapow! <laughs> He's barely operational. <laughs> he entered the arena that way. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Duncan Fisher, and this is the Solaris Games.